Il Kang Na, Charité Universitätsmedizin, Berlin. Restore the bone marrow niche and immune competence after allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Good afternoon. Hematopoietic stem cell transplantation can cure cancer patients and um, it's one of the success stories of immune cell therapy. And the principle is very simple. So we get mobilized immune and stem cells from a healthy donor via GCSF treatment. And then these cells get transplanted into the patient. The patient receives upfront chemotherapy in order to get rid of the tumor cells and to make space for this new stem cells. Unfortunately, this conditioning therapy induces an immune deficiency and is associated with survival limiting infections. So in our studies, we could find that a significant infiltration of alloreactive donor T cell is associated with loss of osteoblasts. And since these osteoblasts are essential and provide important information for the B cell lymphopoiesis, it wasn't surprising that those patients with a damaged endosteal niche um, had hardly any B cell reconstitution. So, Based on our results and based on other studies in the mice models, we um, suggest following scenario. Let me guide you through this busy slide. So transplantation induces inflammation and systemic cytokines like infant gamma and TNF-alpha come into the bone marrow and um, induce or trigger an upregulation of MHC and death receptors on immune and stem cells and stroma cells. And those upregulation makes those cells very susceptible for a damage or killing by the donor alloreactive T cells. So we are working on now to elucidate the detailed mechanism in order or aiming for strategies um, to protect the bone marrow niche. Another project, knowing about the lack of immune cells, antigen-experienced immune cells, is that we found that memory B cells reside in the human bone marrow, and these are significantly different to their counterparts in the peripheral blood by transcriptome, phenotype, and functional properties. And the other interesting finding was that the GCSF stem cell treatment also mobilizes those tissue resident memory B cells into the periphery and we had a significant increase of those cells in the peripheral blood. Which we are working on now is to collect and preserve those cells for adoptive cell therapy and we want to give them back <coughs> as soon as the inflammation after transplantation has passed because we think that the survival is then better for those cells. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>